What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're over near protocol or near up. 12.8% at $4.57, 1 billion max supply, 740 million circulating with a 3.3 billion market cap. All time high is 2044, six months ago. All time low is one year ago. Currently available on the following exchanges down here. Looks like Digifinex is the leader. I am not sure if this is listed on Coinbase or not. I know CoinGecko tends to lag on that stuff. So, with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, make sure you check out my swag. I just opened the store here. The link is below in the description. You can get t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, all different designs right there. So make sure you check that out in the link below. Now let's get into the TA. Okay, everyone, let's get in the near. We're starting the day and work our way to the four hour. On the day chart, this thing is ripping. We broke above this resistance, flipped it in the support, and the candle is just growing. RSI is tailing up. Definitely have room to run to the overbought at 79. A lot more room to be going or a lot more room to grow on the rsi if we draw a fib bottom of the top you can see we're currently getting stopped at the 0.5 it looks like near wants to go up to the 382 you have room to do it macd is just converting bullish i do think a movement up to around five dollars is what we're looking at on the day chart so on the day time frame it's a lot longer to get there than the short term macro time frame of the four hour but nonetheless 0.5 is the price we need to keep an eye on if we break above that i think it's 382 and then we'll have to assess the situation for possibly a move like this on the day chart uh we're going to assess this on the four hour real quick so the four hour and the day chart if you marry them together you get a lot better um time frames on the movement of this coin so short term on the four hour if we jump to the auto we did just break above this resistance which we battle tested looked like all day today finally flipped it into support but barely support right now so we need to continue that upwards movement to continue to have that as support draw a fib on this from bottom we're gonna go to the previous top up here looks like we wicked up to the 382 right now we haven't beaten it with a full candle yet but we did touch it briefly on the macro time frame if i blow up this macd and if we look at the rsi on the macd you can see we're starting to tail back down a little bit on the candles we haven't flipped bearish yet but nonetheless we're starting to move some momentum lose some momentum rsi has been off the chart so that's initiating to me on the short term time frame we are going to be having a pullback how large that pullback is going to be uh with an rsi this high it looks like every time we tagged 70 we tagged it back here tagged it back here we had that slow bleed out back down to 30. Uh, we didn't really tag it back here so just looking at the larger time frame of stuff every time we've been in this general area on the rsi we retrace back down the 30 that retracing back down the 30 would actually bring you down to the 618 here at four dollars which might give you that momentum to blast up to the five dollar range so short term i would be expecting a pullback the first pullback will be to around four dollars and 35 cents which is the first fib area if that actually holds right there which would bring break us briefly back down into the not overbought territory to the pretty close to be overbought territory um we could see a slight bounce there and then a blow off top at around five dollars in that retracement so short term i do think we would we are going to be seeing some sort of retracement if i had to put money on it i'd be more i'm more of a you know hesitant type of guy i'd be looking for a four dollar retracement i know we are at 453 right now we do have a fib here at 437 so 437 is your next stop if you see a bounce from there i'd be keeping an eye on five dollars if you see us break below 437 then keep an eye on the 618 so 437 is going to be the storyteller if history does repeat though once we see this blow off top it looks like it wants to retrace back down the 30 and we will on the rsi and we will assess the situation at that time so i think it looks like we're nearing the top if not have already put the top in it's all dependent on this 0.5 at four dollars and 35 cents so write that down on a sticky note slap it on your forehead so you don't forget that price range that you need to keep an eye on because 435 is going to be the make or break for near so with that none of this is financial advice and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat with me make sure you join my discord channel you'll find the link below in the description if you find this content useful and you'd like to support the channel, head over to the Trading Crypto homepage where you can become a member. Click on the Join tab. It is $4.99 for a month. You get membership shoutouts, membership online chats, and priority replies and comments along with loyalty badges.